Good morning, mums. It's Wellness Wednesday and welcome to our third Positive Daily Zoom Boom. I hope you're feeling well today and it's really nice to have you join me. The sun is rising and it's a beautiful day in North Queensland and I hope it's been a beautiful day where you are or you're waking up to a lovely, sunny, but not too hot day. So I wanted to share some concepts today around the idea of doing versus being. And why I've thought about this is um, on Monday, I had an opportunity to go for a run. And I was running along thinking, you know, this is so interesting that we're all in forced lockdown at the moment. And um, how peaceful people are and how we're not having to rush around everywhere. and people are not doing so much and it would be interesting and and um, funny going forward if we were had enforced lockdowns <laughs> at some points in our lives on a yearly basis you know maybe four to six weeks a year we're all forced into a lockdown which takes us out of our frenetic doing life and more into our being life so what does that really mean doing versus being well, the thing about doing is we, when we're in our doing mode, we're very active, we're efforting, we're results orientated, we're also future orientated, and we're, it's very much a thinking experience. So we have this narrative in our mind where we're planning or we're worrying or we're ruminating. So that's the concept of doing mode because we're always doing. And let's face it, on a daily basis, 99.9% .9 of us, pardon me, sorry, it's my coffee, are living in a doing mode of being, a doing mode of living, where we have to constantly be rushing from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. And this, there's two things really, isn't there? There's rushing and then there's waiting. And we spend a huge amount of time in our life rushing to get things done or to be places or to achieve things. But then on the other hand, we're also sitting around and waiting a lot. And there's no real in between in a lot of our life. So there's the rushing part, which is the doing part. And then there's the waiting part where you're kind of almost sedentary, waiting for, you know, the traffic lights to change, waiting for the kids to finish school, waiting for the kids to finish sport, waiting for your turn at the bank you know we're in all we spend a lot of time in waiting mode we spend a lot of time in rushing mode well the opposite to both of those um is called being mode as in to be and when we're in a being mode we're more um accepting and we're receptive because we're not efforting so we're not rushing to be somewhere and we're not efforting to get things done we're just being and this is more present orientated um, it's a much more felt experience, so you're more in touch, in tune with your senses and your feelings and your body when you're in a being mode experience. And you can also have direct experiences with the, the outer world and your inner world because it is a far more felt experience. And one of the ways to spend more time in being mode is to cultivate body awareness. Now, you can do that in a number of ways. You can sit and close your eyes and focus your attention and direct your attention to, to certain areas in your body. And when you project your thoughts or your senses to that part of your body, you then can receive, you're more open to receiving messages. Now, over time, you can practice being in being mode. But one thing that struck me a lot about the long Easter weekend is that normally, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> many of us would be going somewhere or doing something or rushing from one side of town to the other to visit family or packing up the car and going camping and then we'd be unpacking the car and we'd be tidying and be putting things away and we'd be getting ready to go back to work today or yesterday. So, you know, these are those rushing experiences or those doing experiences a lot of the time prevent us from being, whereas in contrast to that, what I noticed over the weekend, you know, when I went on a bike ride with the girls or when I was running around, people were just being. 
they didn't have to be in their doing, they were more just being. And that's a much more um, harmonious way of living. Because the interesting thing about being generally is when we're not stressed, which is our rushing and our doing and our worrying and our planning mode, we, are, we have a much greater ability to think clearly. So if you need to make a decision about your job or where you want to live or what lifestyle changes you want to implement or what school you want to send your kids to or what does the future look like in five years' time, you can have much more clarity of thought around that when you're in being mode as opposed to doing mode because doing mode is the, you know, the future orientated thinking experience and the, the worrying experience as opposed to the being mode where you're more re receptive to I ideas and you become more in tune with what is probably in your heart, what your intuition is telling you, and you can listen more to your gut. Is, does this feel right? Is this what I want to be doing? Where do I see myself? How can I get the best out of this situation? You can ask yourself those questions when you're in being mode as opposed to doing mode. So I want to encourage you whilst you're still in ISO or in lockdown, whatever that means for you, just to really notice when you're doing and when you're just being. Because the more times you catch yourself being, you can notice, what do I feel like at this moment? What does being feel like? As opposed to when you're rushing, you know, you might be rushing to get dinner ready, you might be rushing to do your chores, you might be rushing to, you know, to get a deadline done. Okay, now I'm in doing mode. So, you know, the goal and in life, we can't not be in doing mode. We do still need to be in doing mode. But um, what's interesting is as you become more mindful of being in being mode and being in doing mode, you can start to switch between the two more seamlessly. And that's a real skill because it allows you to get out of your head, to get out of that rushing and waiting mentality and to shift into the being mode, the present mode where, you know, you're not efforting and you're more calm and relax and accepting of the world. So that's really an interesting message for today. And my um, mantra or mantra, depending on how you like to say it, Australians say mantra, is um, in 2019, was to resist the urge to get busy. So when I resisted the urge to get busy, every time I felt I was going into doing mode and having to rush and to make decisions under pressure and under stress, I'd say to myself, no, no, resist the urge to get busy. So as you start to go back to normal life, when ISO is finished, think about that as well. Think about resisting the urge to get as busy as you were before so that you're not all the time in the doing and allow yourself to be in the being. And the resisting of the, the urge will allow you to kind of have that more longer term felt experience and you spend less time rushing and worrying and ruminating. So um, I wanted to end this little uh, segment with a quote that I love, which is by um, the Dalai Lama. And it says, um, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. So settle in now for our meditation and you can think about compassion and practicing compassion during this meditation. So find yourself a comfortable place to sit or lie down. You can put your hands in your lap um, or down by your sides, wherever you feel comfortable. Close your eyes. Close the door, please. Close your eyes and take five deep breaths. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. probably hear the background noise which is my daughter telling my dad I'm in a video so sorry for that so just open that sports car window at the roof at the top of your head let your sunroof slide open 
just a foot. Now the thoughts and the worries and the to-do list can start swirling around in your head. Flying out the window, as we just fly away. And as they fly away, just relax your shoulders and make your neck nice and long. Breathe deeply down into the pit of your stomach. I like to raise your shoulders up towards your ears and just drop them down. That's it. And just notice how your body is feeling today. Any stress or pain or tension. Just relax with that pain or tension. Notice it. Notice where it is in your body. And thank it for the message. Now as we sit here, start to think about where you want to put effort into your day. You want to put effort into your day, into doing more effort into your day, into being. To be kind, to be free, to be peaceful, to be compassionate, to be loved. Just sit with that for a moment. You can say to yourself, I wish to be kind. I wish to be peaceful. I wish to be loved. As you spend your day in being mode, you'll notice you have less worries, less doubts. You'll have clearer thoughts, clearer intuition. You'll feel more peaceful. And don't worry if you find yourself in doing mode, because you'll notice it and you'll catch it. And as many times as you like throughout the day, you can switch back to being mode, being peaceful, being kind, being compassionate. And that's really the message for today. To spend your day as much as you can being present. I wish you a beautiful day wherever you are, a beautiful night if you're about to hit the sack. So open your eyes. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you feel peaceful, relaxed, compassionate, kind and calm. And remember to spend as much as your day in being mode and it will shift you from doing mode. There's nothing wrong with doing mode. We all need to be in doing mode. But noticing doing mode and noticing being mode will give you more presence of body, breath awareness, more balance and harmony in your life throughout your day. You can take yourself off to being mode whenever the need arises, whenever you feel um, that you need to check in with yourself. So I'm Chrissy Regan. I'm the founder of Mindful Mums Queensland. I'm an author, a poet, an international speaker, a wellness coach, and a mum of two lioness cubs, playful but fierce. Thank you for joining me today. Um, 
and I wish you such a well happy day on Wellness Wednesday. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye.